Hi guys, in this video I'll go over how to print the collapsible blades for my lightsabers. There are two methods for slicing these blades. The first is phase mode or spiralized mode. This is when your printer lays down a continuous line or wall, spiraling upwards without stopping or starting new layers. The second method is a more familiar slicing pattern, where your printer lays down layer upon layer. I'll go over how to slice and print each of these methods, but first I'll take a look at the pros and cons of each method to help you decide which is better for you. Before we start, if you would like to print any of my lightsabers, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find all my models. Alright, to start off, let's talk about filament. The only filament I can recommend for printing these blades is PETG. PETG is shock resistant and somewhat flexible, which makes it ideal for printing collapsible blades. The first method we're going to look at is my preferred way of printing these blades, which is vase mode or spiralized mode. I find that blades printed in vase mode are stronger and far less likely to break. Printing this way means there are no horizontal layer lines where snaps can occur under stress. There are also no unwanted seam lines where the nozzle started each new layer. This method does, however, have its drawbacks. For one, the tip of the blade will always be flat as you need to print this part of the blade upside down in order to close it with the bottom layer. Slicing the blade in vase mode will always leave the top open, so to close the tip of the blade you'll need to print it upside down and add a few bottom layers. The second drawback of this method is that you'll need a 0.8mm nozzle. The thickness of the blade wall is extremely important. All of my blades are designed with a wall thickness of 0.9mm. So to achieve this in vase mode, you'll need to print with a 0.8mm nozzle. This brings me to the second method for printing these blades. I'll just call this normal mode. For this method, you don't need a large nozzle size. You can just print this with a standard 0.4mm nozzle that most people use as default. Unlike vase mode, this mode prints the tips beautifully round. However, I find that blades printed this way are a little more likely to break along the layer lines. Now that we've gone over the pros and cons, let's dive into how to slice and print these blades, starting with vase mode. Jumping into your slicer, you'll see that the blade files for vase mode are solid structures. This is fine because the vase mode setting will only print an outer wall and leave the inside hollow. In your slicer, you'll have to find the setting for vase mode. Here in Kira, it's called Spiralize Outer Contour. Make sure you select that or the equivalent in your own slicer. Next, make sure that your nozzle size is set to 0.8 millimeters and that you've selected the right filament type. As I've mentioned, I recommend you use PETG. Then, make sure that you set the line width to 0.9 millimeters. Again, don't try to print a 0.9 millimeter wall with a nozzle smaller than 0.8 millimeters. You won't get consistent results. Make sure you set the bottom and the top layers to zero. Next. Set the printing temperature of your nozzle to the maximum recommended by your filament. And set the speed between 20 and 50 millimeters per second. Printing the blade slowly and at a high temperature will help with adhesion between layers and result in stronger blades. I also set my fan to 20%. You don't want to cool the layers too quickly. Finally, add a brim to keep the blade stable while printing. For the tip of the blade, print it upside down and add two to five bottom layers. Okay, moving on to the second method for printing these blades. If you are printing these blades normally with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, you'll see that the blade files are hollow. So again, make sure that you select your 0.4 millimeter nozzle and your PETG filament. The thickness of your blade should be 0.9 millimeters after printing. So you'll have to set the line width to 0.45 millimeters. After printing, you'll have a blade with a wall thickness of 0.9 millimeters. Now, printing in this method will leave a seam line unless you select the randomized setting for your walls. This will set your nozzle to begin in a different place every time you start a new layer to effectively erase the seam line. Next, set the printing temperature to the maximum recommended by your filament and set your speed to 20 to 15 millimeters per second. Again, Printing the blade slowly at a high temperature will help with adhesion between the layers and result in stronger blades. I also set my fan to 20%. Again, you don't want to cool these layers too quickly. Finally, 
add a brim to keep the blade stable while printing. That's it for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, please give it a like. If you'd like to stay updated for my future projects, please consider subscribing. Until next time, see ya.